Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. These are the important questions that can be asked to you regarding development of heart. Question number one: Atrial development or adult derivative. A newborn is diagnosed with a defective, with a defect in the atrial interatrial septum, causing the left to right shunting of the blood. Name the most likely congenital effect. Briefly explain the normal development of interatrial septum. What is the adult remnant of the foramen ovale? Answer number one is name the most likely congenital defect is atrial septal defect. Atrial uh, uh, septal defect, commonly ostium secundum defect. And uh, what is the normal development of the uh, enter atrial septum? You have to draw the diagram of the from the KLM uh, embryology book. And uh, the answer is enter atrial septum develops from septum primum and septum secundum. Septum primum grows uh, grows downward towards the endocardial cushion, forming ostium primum. Perforations appear, forming ostium secundum. Septum secundum forms a flap that is foramen ovale. Uh, and the uh, question number C, adult, rem adult remnant of the foramen ovale is fossa ovalis. Question number two is ventricular development. A two-month-old infant presents with cyanosis and imaging shows defective formation of the interventricular septum. What is the most likely diagnosis? Describe the normal development of interventricular septum. The answer number one is VSD, ventricular septal defect, usually membranous part. Membrane, uh, the normal development is muscular septum grows upward from the roof of the ventricle. Membranous septum forms a fusion, forms a, from the fusion of the endocardial cushion plus uh, aortic pulmonary uh, septum. Failure in this fusion leads to the VSD ventricular septal defect. Question number three is adult derivatives in the heart development. A pediatric surgeon observes remnants of the fetal shunt in a child. What is the adult derivative of ductus arteriosus? That is uh, ligamentum arteriosum and ductus venosus, lig ligamentum venosum, umbilical vein, ligamentum teres, uh, hepatis, and umbilical arteries, that is median umbilical ligament. It can be asked to you in the OSP and the VIVA question as well. These are the adult derivatives of these structures and these are important from every point of view like BCQ, SAQ and OSP and the VIVA point of view as well. Question number 4, Tetralogy of Fallet. A six-month-old baby presents with cyanosis, difficulty breathing, and boot-shaped heart on X-ray. What is the most likely congenital heart defect? List the four key features of this condition. What developmental defect leads to this anomaly? Obviously, uh, when you have seen boot-shaped heart on X-ray, so this, so this is leading you that is the uh, tetralogy of Fallet. Uh, and what are the four uh, features of this condition? Pulmonary stenosis, ventricular septal defect, that is VSD, overriding of aorta, and right ventricular hypertrophy. And developmental defect leads to this anomaly, anterior and cephalic deviation of the aortico pulmonary spiral septum that leads to improper septation of the truncus arteriosus. Question number 5 is endocardial cushion defect scenario. A newborn has several severe AV valve abnormality and a large ostium primum ASD, atrium septicular, atrial septal, septal defect, which embryologic structure failed to fuse mentioned one syndrome commonly associated with this defect. So this is tri Down syndrome trisomy 21 and this is the defect of the endocardial. Uh, 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 endocardial cushions are basically, uh, they are failed to fuse in the above mentioned scenario. Question number 6 is a spiral septum defect scenario. Baby presents with early cyanosis. Imaging shows aorta arising from the right ventricle and pulmonary trunk from the left ventricle without VSD. What is this condition? Obviously transposition of great arteries because there is uh, the spiraling has not occurred. What is the embryology of the embryological basis of this anomaly? Failure of aorticopulmonary septum to spiral properly. Vessels will switch their position ultimately leading to this anomaly that is transposition of the great arteries. Question number 7 is persistent fetal in, uh, circulation. A child presents with a continuous murmur near the left clavicle. Echocardiography shows a persistent connection between the pulmonary artery and aorta. What is the uh, condition uh, uh, which fetal structure failed to fuse and mention one drug used to medically close it? This is the patent ductus arteriosus and uh, 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 ductus arteriosus failed to close and uh, endomethacin uh, is responsible for this. Uh, defect for this uh, defect that is patent ductus arteriosus. Truncus arteriosus defect a new unit has a single arterial vessel arising from the heart supplying systematic systemic pulmonary and coronary circulation. Identify the condition what fails to form the during the development. This is patent ductus uh, persistent duct truncus arteriosus and uh, the, which uh, abnormality leads uh, what fails to form uh, failure of the neural crest cells that leads to defective aortico pulmonary truncal septum question number nine is a four month old premature female infant is brought to the emergency department due to the first 
due to the fast breathing and poor feeding she appears underweight and pale with rapid heart rate and breathing a continuous machine machinery like murmur is held, heard at the left second intercostal space near the sternum and her peripheral pulses are bounding her mouth her mother reports having rubella infection during early pregnancy based on based on these findings answer the following name the fetal vascular channel that has remained open after birth describe the embryological formation and normal postnatal fate of this structure uh, this condition is due to the persistent of the ductus arteriosus that leads to patent ductus arteriosus embryological origin of uh, ductus arteriosus as that is that it derives from the left six aortic arch during the development function in the fetus is since fetal lungs are collapsed and pulmonary resistance is high the ductus arteriosus shunts blood from the pulmonary artery to the descending aorta bypassing the non functional lungs normal closure after birth at birth breathing expands the lungs pulmonary resistance is going to be drop increased oxygen levels that is plus there will be decreased uh, prostaglandin e2 that causes functional closure within 24 to 48 hours and neurotrophic closure within 1 to 10 months the closed vessel becomes the ligamentum atrium failure to close that leads to patent ductus arteriosus persistency uh, persistent patency leads to left to right uh, shunting proce- uh, producing bounding pulses machinery murmur maternal rubella infection is a classic risk factor here is a quick summary uh, regarding the conditions are mentioned over here and these are the embryological defects and these are the clinical uh, features by which you can easily identify that which condition is this for example let's talk about asd you will be mentioned in the scenario that septum primum of septum de- uh, septum uh, de- uh, septum sec- secundum defect left to right shunt vsd failure of the membranous septum fusion and harsh murmur will be heard the trilogy of fallis sinuses will be uh, present over there in the scenario and uh, uh, in the tga there is a fail- failure of the spiraling uh, the reason of this is failure of, of the uh, aortico pulmonary septum is uh, failed to spiral and uh, there will be incompatible uh, in- incompatible uh, shunting of the blood truncus arteriosus no aortico pulmonary septum is present and uh, mixing of the blood will be uh, there and pda uh, ductus arteriosus remain open the machinery murmur will be here which we have already discussed in the previous Uh, scenario thank you